Hey everybody, Honey Badger here for episode 7. And uh, this one is going to be a tough one. Um, I, lots of people like the century eggs. Well, they don't like them, but lots of people want to see the century eggs because they sort of represent one of the less pleasant things in the culinary world. Um, fortunately or unfortunately for me, I'd already done these and that footage got lost. So I'm really sorry about that. And I'm especially sorry because now I have to eat it again. Now, one of the things I didn't do for the first time I ate it um, was pop a whole one in my mouth and I didn't smell it on purpose. This time I'm going to get the full flavor and experience of the century egg, uh, for better or worse. Now, these things are actually not a thousand years old. Um, the century eggs are uh, created by fermentation process. They're usually um, rolled in some ashes, rolled in some, some different powders, chemicals, and, um, and traditionally in clay and that ferments the egg and kind of uh, bakes it in. Uh, that also produces a black color to and a jelly-like substance to the, the what we do know as the white and it turns the yolk black and mushy. So there you go, century eggs. Um, uh, since I didn't smell it before, um, I'll share that experience with you when, uh, when I crack this baby open. pretty a little bit like an Easter egg. <laughs> That'd be a good prank, wouldn't it? A little speckled. Okay, so that was good. I took a little, took a little deep breath because I wasn't sure what I was going to encounter. That smells just like carboiled egg. I'm sure it'll be a little bit different when I crack it open though. Alright, so we'll see if I can get this peeled. Oh, there we go. So there's the first little part of it. Let's see if we can get a sniff before we... Okay, so yeah, that's a little stronger. Um, I think it's still thankfully contained within the, uh, the black rubber jelly placenta, I think it is. All right, I have it peeled. You can see, we'll explore a little bit here. This side I'm, I'm kind of worried about. Um, it is not. Uh, it is not very gelatinous. It's actually quite uh, crumbly uh, and firm, and it's got a greenish hue to it. Uh, given that these are already fermented, essentially preserved rotten eggs, um, I'm not sure it, how do you tell if a century egg is bad or not. <laughs> so, well, I guess I'll know tomorrow, right? Or maybe later tonight. Um, okay, so it's already all peeled, and I'm gonna take another Smith. Okay. So the scent of sulfur is, is a little stronger, um, and at this point now I'm starting to shake a little bit. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bite into it. I'm just gonna bite into it and, and eat it. And uh, last time the texture got to me because the yolk is very very mushy. Um, so I'm gonna try to be a real honey badger and just don't care. So here we go, honey badger don't care. Episode seven. So that's exactly what happened the first time. <laughs> mm. Okay, just one more minute. <laughs> I gotta say, <laughs> it doesn't actually taste horrible. Like, I'm not tasting something horrible in my mouth. I would like to take a drink, but it's not, um, it's not horrible tasting in that, um, you know, it tastes sour or, or it has a, a really bad taste. It has a horrible, <laughs> horrible texture, a horrible texture. And you bite into that hard jelly and, and then you hit this really super mushy yolk and it's just, it's just wrong. It's what it is. It's just really wrong. So century eggs are not something that are going to be 
Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of a taste. So, um, century eggs are not something that's going to be on my to-do list or uh, the next potluck. Nothing like that. So, uh, this is Honey Badger Don't Care, episode 7. And uh, I look forward to your comments and suggestions in the box below. In the meantime, I'm going to go and bleach my mouth.